Alrighty, at this point, we're going to get ready to start adding some color to this image. Now that once these three are merged together, you're going to be on that layer. So click on that layer and you are going to add a color over top of this whole thing. It's just a fill of a color. So to do that, you go to layer and then you choose new fill layer, color fill. And for now, just pick whatever. It doesn't really matter what it um, it's going to look like it's completely gone over your whole picture. Now you just take this um, background layer where your photos are. In fact, I might double click on that and name them photos so I remember. Um, and you just drag that above. So you can just, if you just click and drag, these are movable places. So now your color fill is below that. Now I'm going to jump back to the poster for just a second so we can look at this. Um, these posters. So what you're creating is this area right here, um, the light tan area. And in, in this case, it's a little bit smaller over here. Um, and then you're going to eventually expand it to be larger. We're going to have two colors in here. So you're just adding the first color. You're going to be adding some other things um, and some other shapes on top of this as, uh, as well. But at this point in time, you have your color on there. Now you can double click in this area in the color fill box. So if you click in there, you'll get this little panel that pops up. And now you can sort of just go in here and you'll get this, this uh, little tool. Um, I'm gonna do, oh, I can't zoom in while I'm doing it. Oh, yes I can. <laughs> It was just delayed. I want to click around and I want to try to find something that I think would go nice with this. Uh, there might be a little bit of a lag as you just saw there. I kind of like the blues. And then you can sort of like from that area just sort of click around in your picker panel until you're happy with what you like. Um, you can always come back and change it later. So for now I'm going to go with that. And at this point, you can start to pull off some of these lines. Also, notice that your text is not showing any longer. It's just because it's below that panel. So if you want to see those text boxes, just drag them above your color fill layer. You can leave that in there. And you're going to very carefully remove all of these turquoise blue lines. You just drag them back into your ruler, except this. Do not remove these two lower box areas down here. And I can also tell you that you will need to lay some you're going to leave two of these, actually three of them. You're going to leave these lines right on the edges of your poster. You can get rid of all of them, except you want a line at the very tippy top of your poster and on either side of your poster. And these I'm going to get rid of. This one goes away. And this one I'm going to put at the very tippy top. So I'm going to just pull that up. There we go. I just want those to go away. Everything goes away except this. So you want to keep, my computer is lagging while I'm doing a video here. So you want to have a turquoise blue line on the left side, a turquoise blue line on the right side, on the top, and then just leave this text box area filled down here as well. And that's it at this point. If you want to save it again, that would be great. Just save as PSD again. It's going to remember where it went the last time, unless you just had just reopened it. But it should remember. Um, and then save. I just want to save it. And do I want to replace it? Yes, I do, because it's going to replace it each time with the 